In this reaction, we're going to be taking solid zinc and adding hydrochloric acid. This will be a redox reaction, an oxidation reduction, sometimes known as a single replacement reaction. The zinc's going to go into solution, forcing the hydrogen that's in solution to come out as hydrogen gas. I'm going to collect this hydrogen gas um, using a one-arm flask inside this balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and add the hydrochloric acid and get this redox reaction started. As you can see, the hydrogen balloon is inflating relatively quickly. This reaction happens to be an exothermic reaction. It generates a considerable amount of heat. If you were to actually fill the bottom of this flask, it would be rather warm. Now that I actually have a nice little hydrogen balloon, I am going to take this balloon off and actually stop this reaction before continuing. Now that I have a nice um, hydrogen balloon, I'm simply going to tie off this hydrogen balloon. And I'd like to demonstrate that this particular balloon has properties similar to a gas that students are familiar with. And if I actually take a little container here, we can see that this balloon is less dense than air. And it is actually trying to float. Um, nice little property about hydrogen. At this time, I usually like to let my students do a little bit of research to see if they can find out some other properties about hydrogen. And eventually, I'm able to get out of my students that hydrogen is an excellent fuel source. And I would like to show just how explosive this gas is. Now that I have my nice little hydrogen balloon here, I'm going to show that this is an explosive gas by putting it into this Bunsen burner flame. So as you can see, hydrogen does have explosive properties, as you were able to just witness. Um, students love this reaction. It's one of the fun ones that they get to see. Um, so as we've got to see, a small little redox reaction um, with a hydrogen explosion at the end.